In this video, I am going to show how to draw the reflex arc and discuss the functions of its components. So first we will begin by drawing the spinal cord, the edge shape region here and then we extend the dorsal root and the ventral root forming the spinal nerve. Now we draw the sensory neuron. So the sensory neuron is attached to the receptor organ. So here first we are drawing the receptor organ and then from that we will draw the sensory neuron. The sensory neuron carries impulses to the spinal cord and it is a unipolar neuron. So it has its site on in the dorsal root ganglion. This synapses with the interneuron in the spinal cord and then that synapses further with the motor neuron that innervates the muscle or the effector organ. Now let us label the first component of the reflex arc is the receptor organ. The receptor organ is the part which receives the stimulus from the environment. So this receptor organ after receiving the stimulus is it is taken up by the sensory neuron. So the sensory neuron is the second component of the reflex arc. The sensory neuron carries the impulse to the spinal cord to the third component that is the interneuron. The interneuron regulates or modulates the impulse received by the sensory neuron and sends the impulse further to the motor neuron. The motor neuron is a fourth component and this sends the response to the effector organ. So the effector organ is the fifth component of the reflex arc which brings about the response. So these are the five components of the reflex arc. Now other than that we also label the other structures before that we have to show the path of the reflex arc so we mark that with the arrows. Next we label some other parts of the diagram here. So first is the cyton of the sensory neuron. So the cytons of all the sensory neurons lie in the dorsal root ganglion. So the swelling in the dorsal root is the place where all the cytons are located. Then we label the dorsal root and next we label the ventral root that carries the motor neuron or the efferent neuron. Next we label the central canal of the spinal cord that is located in the grey matter of the spinal cord. Now other labelings that can be done here is the grey matter and the white matter. So this completes with the drawing and labeling of the reflex arc.